Hi everyone, it's Jenna Reed Cote, almost forgot my name there for a second, um, coming at you from Phoenix Attitude Headquarters, and today I am so excited to finally let you in on a little secret. Um, I have been nominated for the Young Woman of Distinction Award with the YWCA Women of Distinction Awards. So first and foremost, I cannot thank the YWCA enough for uh, for getting to know me and and uh, giving me the sense that you know I I, I still got game um, and and you know I'm on the right I'm on the right track um, but along with them I also desperately need to to thank with all my heart uh, SCIBC and and the spinal cord injury clinic at BC Children's Hospital and and my friend Christina. Uh, with with Murphy Batista um, personal injury law firm because they've been so supportive of me as well and and it's just been such a wild ride just going through the process of of applying for this award um, and of course I can't even be forgetting the person who put me in that position in the first place um, my cousin who uh, who who you know just really took the time to make sure that I was taking every opportunity that I could to to make the most impact and for seeing things in me that I'm still trying to see in myself. Uh, I will get there, but thank you for being patient with me. So I want to thank her for the long nights and the the late night Skype sessions and 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 just dealing with uh, all the emotions that kind of came up with the process after about a month and a bit and uh, and then you know finally getting the call and uh, you know you'd think after a month and a bit uh, that I would have been adequately prepared for it being you know one way or the other me getting it or not getting it um, and and I was surprised to find myself overwhelmed when I did get that call saying that I had made it um, why you may ask well I guess it was because I, I kind of felt like my life had come full circle. Didn't realize that it was full circle until a couple years ago when I started working um, or volunteering with uh, a children's hospice and a children's hospital as well. And and um, I, I have to be honest because, you know, I, I think, you know, we all owe it to ourselves and to each other to be honest and authentic. I... I, I I was bitter when I when I started that. Um, I had been trying so hard, you know, living the life of a person with a congenital condition, um, and and trying to meet society's standards of success and what it meant to be successful, and and trying to keep up with everybody and and take the steps that everybody else took to 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 get where you know they ultimately were then deemed successful and it wasn't working that way and and so I I decided to take an opportunity which you know turned out of course to be the the greatest gift that I could probably ever be given um and I was bitter because I I was just like great I've grown up in the medical system and to me for a very long time the medical system represented me feeling like a victim I don't like feeling like a victim um, and and it always felt like all I was doing within the medical system was listing what was wrong with me listing you know every problem I had and and that was just not the way my personality worked that was not something that I felt comfortable with and and my spirit was always kind of battling it out with my mind because my mind is like wait a minute, so you're saying I'm weak and your spirit's like, no, 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 you're strong, you know, get over it and, and get through it. And so I, when I started working there and thinking, oh God, this is so cliche, that's all, you know, they're going to think that I'm good for and they think I'm good at it because I've been through it and, and boy was I wrong and pretty darn early on too because uh, almost right at the beginning, I, I saw these kids who had been through so much, not unlike myself, and and yet they had a resilience that would that would rival 
I can't even find a, a, a good a good example, but like just imagine a heck of a lot of resilience and and optimism and and this attitude that that really kind of embody, embodies Phoenix attitude, right? Because you know they had been brought down and they were getting back up. They didn't see any other there there, there wasn't any option in their mind, right? That's what they wanted to do and they were gonna do it. And, and so it was really cool to, to see this fight in their eyes and, and this joy, um, coming and, and, and it coming from, you know, what could have been really dark times and a, and a dark place. And so, uh, I remember excitedly calling my mom after, you know, seeing this and, and I was just like, you just wouldn't believe it. These kids are so happy. They, they are so desperate to socialize and and just you know get to know other people and 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 you know like nothing gets in their way and and they 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 don't care you know about whether you know they're getting from point a to point b um walking limping you know in a chair on their tush scooting like i like i had to do um when i was a kid and and it was just like Oh my god, this is amazing. And I was expecting her to say, you know what? Like that's that's awesome. You know, the system's obviously changed so much and and you know, the education that's happening around the world and in society is is really doing a good job. But that's not what she said. That's not what she said. And uh, uh the people who know me best or know me for 5 minutes will tell you that it's not easy to render me speechless but I was when when she kind of revealed that I had been that way when I was their age I I was that joyful kid who laughed all the time who who was resilient as well and beyond measure and and if I wanted to do something I was gonna do it and 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 I, I it was everything that I was saying about these kids and 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 it was just the weirdest experience because I didn't I didn't I didn't recognize I didn't I didn't know this person that my mom was describing um, from what I remember about my childhood was everything after I was 10 years old and diagnosed with off-the-charts depression it had gotten to be too much I I, I had finally just been so confused you know and you know overload um by by you know being told you know by by the people around me not my family or, or support system or anything but like by society and that you know there was a right way and a wrong way to to do something and and so it was obviously about the uh the destination not the journey and and you had to do it one way and if you weren't doing it that way it was wrong and and so after 10 years old, you know, you kind of just isolate yourself, you feel really crappy about yourself, and and so all of a sudden this excitement that I had had about these kids and what I saw was their amazing potential turned to fear on my part. I was scared. I was scared that, you know, if if I had gone down such a dark path that there was the chance that they could too. Um and and I desperately did not want that for them if there was anything I could do to stop it. I did not want them to, to deal with a lot of pain like I had. And and so it reinforced so much that I needed to, to do something and I needed to, you know, revert back to that, that kid that I was way back when and not care, you know, what people's ideas of success were and what, you know, what was deemed a positive impact or, or anything, you know, worth contributing or, or appreciating. And, and what I just did was I decided to follow my heart. And, and I decided to, to start Phoenix Attitude. I decided to start this company to create tools to remind everybody that they have so much inner strength that if they really had, you know, a better sense of it it would blow them away and their spirit can carry them through the craziest the hardiest the the most the most you know 
dark and, 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 you know, thinking that you're, you're never going to get up from this, um, those times. And, and so I, I wanted people to know that they were the expert on their life and, and that they, they deserved a seat at their table. And, and they had invaluable insight as to what works for them and what didn't. And, and knowing that they had the right to, to open up a dialogue and, and say, that's not going to work or that, or this is what's going to work. Um, and so I just wanted to be a part of changing the dialogue, of changing this idea that we need to be looking for people's weaknesses as opposed to their strengths. And, and when we do empower their strengths, you know, they're, they're going to get so much stronger and, and start to, to look at their weaknesses, you know, weaknesses and, and say, Hmm, you know what? I'm going to try that now. I'm going to see what happens and, and build this, you know, new generation of people who are stronger, mind, body, and spirit. And, and I'm so grateful that every day I get to wake up and put my whole heart and my whole soul in, into Phoenix Attitude and, and the tools that we create and, and the, the community that, that is building and growing and, and, and just really blowing me away. Um, and, and so I really, really appreciate this opportunity. I really appreciate the chance to, to be that kid who doesn't believe in limits. And, and, you know, what I want to do is what I'm going to do. doesn't matter how you would do it because this is what works for me and that's what matters. Um, so thank you so much for your support. Um, and, and thank you so much to the Phoenix Attitude team and Patch and, 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 you know, just everybody who's been supportive of this and, and also everybody who's challenged me on this just to, to give me the sense of, you know, this is important and this is important for me to do. And this might be the thing that I'm supposed to do. Um, and, and so I'm really appreciative for the chance to do it. And so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will talk to you soon because we have some amazing things coming down the road for Phoenix Attitude. And, and I'm so excited that I get to have you guys on this journey with me. So thanks again.